The Supreme Court of Nigeria, in its verdict on Tuesday, declared Ademola Adeleke as the governor of Oshun State. The Independent National Electric Commission had declared that Adeleke of the People's Democratic Party polled 403,371 votes to defeat then incumbent governor Adeboyega Oyetola of the All Progressives Congress, who got 375,027 votes. But Oyetola and the APC rejected the results of the poll and added for the tribunal. The governorship election in the state was held on July 16, 2022. In its January 27, 2023 majority verdict, the ju Justice Tessie Kume led tribunal annulled Adeleke's victory and declared Oyetola the winner of the poll. Now ahead of this year's Children's Day celebration, Wife of the Oyo State Governor, Makinde, has challenged well-meaning Nigerians and those with, which means to, or with means to put a smile on the faces of the less privileged members of the society. Orphans, and most especially children with special needs, at the nation's history. Mrs. Makinde gave the charge in Ibadan, the Oyo State's capital, during the course of a law program targeted at selected orphanage homes in the Asian city. The governor's wife, represented by the Commissioner for Special Duties, Paul Sani, explained... The wife of the executive governor of your state deemed it very fit to, fit, uh, to pay charity courtesy visit to all the homes that we have visited. Uh, it is a time like this that we normally if you look back for the past four years, we normally pay this visit to some selected homes just to show one appreciation to all these orphanages. They've been, they have devoted their time and their energy, their resources to make sure that the less privileged, particularly the orphans among us, they are well taken care of. They are support system for the government of Oyo State. There are a lot of challenges that we face, especially this local area, this grassroots level. So the people, there are not enough donation, uh, scarcity of uh, uh, cash, uh, so many things coming up, makes it very difficult for us, but because it is a calling and God appoints us to do it, that is why uh, we are able to wave. When, the, when it is very tense, the God will send a helper. That like today, we don't even know that you people are coming, but with the help of God, we received you. So I will, I will say thank you because people like you that help the home, if not, a lot of people would have been dying. So I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. We sincerely appreciate this and this job, shameful yourselves. We are grateful. With what they have come out, we know what it means to feed children. And we have quite a lot of them. We have to shelter for services and such as one of them. So what they have brought will go a long way in service our problems and Oya State has a new head of service in the person of Olubumi Olufunke Oni. Mrs. Oni is taking over as the most senior civil servant following the retirement of Olola De Agola, who is expected to bow out of the service next week. Now, meanwhile, the government has approved the inauguration of a 15-man committee to ensure a seamless transition of government on the 29th of May. Commissioner for Information and Culture, Wasiu Ola Tubosu, made this development known to newsmen in Ibadan. Today is our last day in ESCO. So His Excellency announced that to us and to take our new place is Mrs. Olugome, Olufunke Olu, MNR, will be our next head of service in our state. Since we are only in the same government, so we don't need separate inauguration committee and transition committee. So we are having inauguration slash uh, transition committee. So the committee will be headed by Honorable Shegu Okunwe, will be the chairman. The secretary will be Ms. Ololade Ajibola. Other members are Honorable Admajit Mugwajibola, Honorable 
Mrs. Tony Balogo. Barista Adeniyi Faneto. Honorable Wasi Olatwosu. Honorable Ademola Ojo. Honorable Nureni Alaki. Honorable Dayo Ogunbenro, that's the state chairman of PDP. Alaji Wasi Wadeleke, that's the state secretary of PDP. Kompo retired Fatai Wosemi, as a security. Honorable Siju Lawa. Honorable Akin Olaojo. Honorable Simon Uyileke. Professor Abdulwahi Soli. Ah, okay. So this uh, is a 15-man committee. So those are the 15 names that uh, will oversee the inauguration and uh, transition. And that's all we can take on news now on Abran TV. TV tomorrow and Deborah Aze. Bye for now.